President Biden today ordered an independent security review of how such an attack could have happened. And then tonight, in a primetime address from the White House, the president said we need to, quote, lower the temperature in our politics. Our Ray Strickland has that part of the story. We must not go down this road in America. Sitting in the Oval Office, President Biden spoke for six minutes denouncing Saturday's violence. Here in America, Everyone must be treated with dignity and respect, and hate must have no safe harbor. President Biden also offered his condolences to the victims and their families. There is no place in America for this kind of violence, or for any violence ever, period. No exceptions. We can't allow this violence to be normalized. The president's remarks were the second time on Sunday that he commented on the assassination attempt. He spoke with reporters earlier in the day, announcing that he's directing an independent review of the security at the Trump rally. At the center of his address Sunday night was a message of unity. We may disagree. We are not enemies. We're neighbors. We're friends, co-workers, citizens. And most importantly, we are fellow Americans. So the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. And at Rittenhouse Square, Philadelphians' reaction to what happened to the former president continues to be one of shock and concern. It's not justified, justified whatsoever. So it's basically not acceptable in any way. I think it's insane how something like this could even happen. I mean, you would think security would be tighter. And the people we spoke to say this will certainly be a test for our president and how he leads the country moving forward. But they also agree that this needs to be a moment that brings us all together. In Philadelphia, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Philadelphia.